to Susan Ferris. Hello everyone! So today I thought I would do a What's in My Dance Bag performance edition. This might be a really long video so I'm sorry about that. I have like a whole bunch of stuff to show. Um, as you can probably see, I don't know if you can see, but my bed is covered in stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this stuff with you. I get a lot of questions actually about what's in my dance bag and how I am always so prepared. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing I do to stay super organized is to actually make a list. Now, um, you can ask my mom. I hate making lists. Um, my mom will tell you that right now. Um, I do not like making lists, but I find that if I don't make a list, I will forget a whole ton of stuff that I needed. There was one time, quick story, that I did not make a list and I forgot to pack my point shoes. That was the scariest moment of my life, but my mom is my hero and she came and brought them to me. She's the best mom ever, guys. She wins Best Mother of the Year Award. Okay, so this oh, <laughs> is my dance bag and it is super heavy. Sorry. Um, so I got this bag from Target. It's just like a gym bag, sports bag. I'm not even sure really what it is. I think it's a duffel bag. Um, I think we got it in like the section where they sell like backpacks and suitcases and things like that. So. Uh, but I got this a while ago. Uh, this is really durable. Uh, the fabric actually hasn't torn and I find that because I carry so much stuff in my bag with me, um, a lot of the times my dance bag will rip or something will happen to it. First things first, let's actually see what is inside of my dance bag. Um, I actually keep it pretty organized for the most part. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know. So these are blister band-aids, and uh, let me show you the packaging. I find these at Target. They're the Advanced Healing Blister Bandages. Um, I use these a lot. Um, just make sure that when you use these, you make sure that you put them on when your feet are dry or your ankles or whatever. Um, make sure that you're completely dry because they will not stay on if you put them on when they're wet or sweaty or gross. Scissors. Scissors are very important because sometimes you will have frays or threads on your costume or your point shoes will come un become undone and you'll need to sew them. So yeah, scissors are good to have. Um, and I think I might have a couple pairs. Alright, this is the body wrappers uh, sewing kit and um, it's got like a little quote in the back and it's really cute. It looks like a mint. It looks like uh, one of those Altoids containers, but inside of it, it's kind of a mess. Um, I've got needles, and I've added my own stuff to this, by the way, guys. So, um, my costume, which I don't have right what is that? So, basically what I do is I have a whole bunch of thread, and I will uh, find thread that is matches the fabric or the color of my costume. So, um, last year I had black and I had green. Um, for a couple of uh, different costumes that I had, but um, I always keep the same color thread with me. My worst fear, to be completely honest, is costume malfunctions. So I always keep needles and threads and all that good stuff with me because I really don't want my costume falling off when I'm on stage because that's just terrible. I have a pair of a hook and eye. Um, I have a bobby pin in here, which really shouldn't be in there. Um, and I have this safety pin in here as well. Um, so yeah, and then this is dental floss. Uh, little tip, if you guys don't have point shoe thread, um, use dental floss because it actually works and um, my ribbons are like, I'm like notorious for breaking my ribbons off my shoes um, and dental floss is pretty durable so yeah, keep that in mind. Next thing I have is Arnica gel. Um, I tend to get really sore muscles and my feet start to hurt when it comes to shows because you're walking around a lot and the floors are really hard and that sort of thing. So I just keep this in my bag just in case. Um, it's a pain relief. Um, I get this from my health food store. Um, so I'm guessing you can get it there too. I don't know. I don't know really where you can grab that. Uh, safety pins, whole bag, dental floss. This is like the super cheap kind of dental floss from the dollar store. And it's really durable and I use it to sew my point shoes. Um, I guess if you had something in your teeth and you really needed to get it out, um, you could use that too. Uh, yeah, multi-purpose dental floss. 
Next thing is a nail kit. Now, this is a nail file and a pair of nail clippers. I got this from Rite Aid? Rite Aid? Yeah, Rite Aid. Um, making sure that you have um, clipped toenails is really important because if you don't, you can tend to get bruised toenails or ingrown toenails or a lot of gross stuff. Um, plus, it's just really painful and pointy if you have a whole bunch of weight on toenails. Alright, so that is the front pocket. Now we are going to move to this side pocket here. Um, okay, so I have some leg warmers. Leg warmers are always good to carry with you, especially around shows. I tend to find that when I go backstage, it is so cold. So I carry some leg warmers with me and a pair of fuzzy socks usually. Um, and I always dress really warm. It's really hot uh, here where I'm from but it is so cold backstage. Like last year I was freezing my tushy off because I brought shorts and I didn't bring like leggings or anything like that because I didn't realize it was gonna be so cold. And I, my costume was a crop top and like these shorts. It was because I was a genie. Um, so it's set in like Aladdin type of thing. But yeah, I had like nothing and I had to ask my friend to borrow a sweater and you know, he was great and gave me a sweater. But um, yeah, it was really, really cold. So I, I am now bringing leg warmers and warm clothes for backstage. Really? Sorry, that's my phone. All right, now I have a whole bunch of different skirts. Um, I don't have solid colored skirts, which is kind of a problem um, when I go to places sometimes. Um, I really need to invest in some solid colored skirts, but this is a floral skirt, and this is a watercolor type skirt, and yeah, I've got a couple of other skirts in here. Oh, I have a whole outfit in here. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> And I have this skirt, this is probably the one I wear most. Um, it's like a butterfly pattern one. It's really awesome, I really like it. Ankle brace because sometimes my ankles cramp and they start to buckle and so I just wear this brace to kind of hold it in place and give it a little extra support. You never know when you might need that, so I bring it with me. Um, another skirt, this is the only solid colored skirt that I have and it is too small so I need to take that out of my bag. Uh, another pair of leg warmers that I actually made out of an old shirt. Good job. Alright, so moving on to the main part of the bag. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in there, so let's see what's in here. Honestly, I haven't looked through a lot of the pockets in a while, so sorry about that. Yoga block. This is great to carry around with you if you want to do over splits or calf stretches or strengthening exercises. I mean, I carry this around wherever I go. It's super lightweight and um, it's not really heavy in my bag. It does take up a little bit of space, but I'm not complaining because it gets the job done when I have really horribly cramping calves. I will stretch it out with this and it really does help. So I'm not complaining. Alright, so this is my flat shoe bag. Um, these are just slippers and I've got two pairs in here. I have my normal class regular looking ones. They are a little bit dirty, um, but they're not as dirty as the ones I'm about to show you. Um, so I have these and then I have these which have makeup on them. Um, they are supposed to be skin colored and as you can tell they're not really right now. They're just kind of dirty. They've kind of faded but um, I actually have to remake up these again because I have a dance that I have to have skin colored shoes for, so yeah, gotta, gotta fix that. All right, now I have three pairs of point shoes and I was mentioning the shank of the point shoe earlier. Let me show you what that is, just really quick. Little point shoe anatomy. This right here is the shank and this is the bottom of the shank and this is where you would put jet glue here, you would just do an X um, if that's where you were having trouble, that's where you would put the X of Jet Glue. And yeah, so um, I've got two different brands here. Um, one is a Russian Point brand that I cannot pronounce and I cannot ever remember the name of it. And then this is a Grishko 2007s. I like the Russian Points much better. Um, they just fit my feet better and uh, they just look better as well. Baby powder! Okay, so a lot of my 
dancer friends, colleagues, they use a lot of rosin. And I am used to slipperier floors, slipperier, slip, slipperier. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. I'm used to slippery surfaces. That's a better way of saying it. I am more used to dancing on slippery surfaces. And sometimes if there's too much rosin on the stage flooring, um, it affects the way I dance, um, which is, I mean, I'm learning how to adapt to all different floors, but sometimes it is a little too sticky. So I put a little bit of baby powder on the bottoms of my shoes to kind of help uh, balance that out. Baby powder, very, very good investment. Plus it makes your feet smell so much better. I mean, cause let's face it, dancers feet stink really bad. Then I have this thing. <laughs> then I have this handy thing right here. Um, it's like a roller. I'm not exactly sure what they really call it, but it's a, basically it's a roller and you roll out your quads with it. You can roll out your calves. Um, and it's just a handy dandy way. It's to get kinks out of your body. Um, I like the tennis ball to like get like the places I can't reach like um, my glute muscles and my hips and my IT band and all that stuff. This is great for rolling out your quads and your calves and yeah, that's really what mainly I use it for. Um, hamstring, it's okay, but I prefer the tennis ball over this if I'm gonna pinch. Oils, okay, so I was talking to you guys earlier about Arnica gel and how it kind of helps bring down my cramps and everything. This is it does the same way for the most part. Um, I have a lot of different oils in here, but um, I'm not gonna bother going through all of them because this is already gonna be a really long video. But I carry those with me just in case um, I have like cramps or sore muscles or I'm feeling like my shins are hurting or that sort of thing. And plus, it smells good. I mean, they are really strong, but most of the time, People like the smell, so that's good. What else do I have in here? Okay, I have uh, TheraBands. Um, I do some exercises with this before I go on stage. Um, well, not before I go on stage, but before the performance starts. Um, so I just do it to warm up my ankles. I do it, um, I tie it around my legs and do clams. Um, I'll do like a video where I show you guys my performance warm up, um, just, so I don't have to go through it with you the entire time. Ball. Oh, it is the same thing uh, as, it does the same thing as a tennis ball would do. Um, so yeah, I have this as well. I used, I did not realize that was still in there. I thought I lost it. Thank God I found it. See? Great things. All right, this right here is this little plastic coin purse. I do not use it for money. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Uh, my dad got this for me when he went to Asia. But yeah, these are my toe pads. I have a cloth pair, animal skin pair, sorry. And I have like a gel pair. And then I have toe spacers. Now these are like ripped and jacked up and I need to get new ones. Um, talking about all of it, to be completely honest. Um, but this is what you would wear before putting on your point shoes and that sort of thing. Some people, don't have to wear them and I envy those people uh, because it is really painful when you have like no cushioning in your point shoes. One time I had to run on stage without without the toe pads and I was in pain the entire time. Oh my gosh, I felt like my skin was being shredded. It was horrible. Okay guys, so really quick, I just want to share something with you. I just literally filmed all of this like probably like five minutes ago and I watched it and I'm really bad because it's completely blurry. So now I have to refill it again, but whatever. It's all good. So moving on to clothing slash dancewear stuff. Um, this is a like, what is it called? I'm blanking out. Jumpsuit. Um, it's really, really warm. Um, I find that it is super cold backstage. Um, literally every performance I've done, um, whether it's like a hundred degrees outside, it is always freezing cold inside. So I always keep a pair of really warm pants and socks and all that good stuff in here. So, um, these are warm up pants and, um, uh, from Discount Dance. 
Uh, you can find a lot of that stuff on there. Um, you can find a lot of good stuff on there, um, but these I just really love. They're really, really warm and all that good stuff. I also have these, which are the block booties. Um, you can put, the great thing about these is that you can actually put your point shoes on and then put these over it, um, which makes it really nice for walking around. And if you've done like a full foot warm up or full warm up, I guess, um, you can put these on and it will keep you warm. So that's why I love these so much. Okay, this is, where's the top? There it is. This is a pink workout sweater. Um, somebody actually gave this to me and it's super cute and I don't know where it's from. Um, but I'll try and find that out for you guys. But um, it is, like I said, super cold backstage. So I put this on over my costume before I go on stage. And then I just take this off, throw it in the quick change room, and then get it after the show's done. Um, but this is really, really handy to have. And in case that the teachers don't like that you're wearing a more baggier sweater, um, I have this little crop top warm-up sweater um, that I keep in my bag. And it works. Um, it does the job. It keeps you warm. Um, probably not as well as a workout sweater. But if you wear the warm-up pants and the booties too, then you're all set. You're good. Next, I have a pair of socks, fuzzy socks. These are from Target. And um, carrying a couple pairs of fuzzy socks is really great. Um, I like warming up my feet with fuzzy socks just because, um, yeah, they're just super comfortable and they get you warm quicker, like your body, your blood, and your all that good stuff. Warmer, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about right now, what I'm saying. Next thing, I keep a pair of tights with me. Um, an extra pair just in case um, something happens to my tights or if a friend forgot tights and she needs them or she found out there's a hole in her tights. Um, there are a lot of different things that can happen so I'm always super prepared when it comes to shows. Um, I'll bring like five extra leotards to be completely honest. Like, Alright, this is a st your standard white leotard. Um, not always. So most of the time your teachers or your choreographers will tell you uh, what to bring for your costumes, but if they don't, sometimes they don't, like last year, um, they didn't for my for my costume, they didn't tell me what to bring. So um, I ended up like forgetting a whole bunch of stuff. But um, just in case, carry a white, a black, and a nude leotard uh, for underneath your costume. You will not regret it. If something happens and they need you to wear a leotard, then you never know. Um, you might need a white leotard. So I have a white one and I also have a nude one and I have a black one. So as I said, carry white, black, and nude because those are your standard colors. Um, if you're going to carry those types of leotards though, make sure that they are just your standard, regular, boring leotards. Uh, they'll have like spaghetti straps and a classic back, not really super dipped and all that good stuff. So moving on to makeup and hair. I have my makeup bag right here and it is open. Um, this, this bag, my grand, they're not my grandparents. What the heck is wrong with me today? Oh my gosh. My aunt and uncle picked up this bag for me and it says, you're beautiful, don't change. I'm not sure where they got it from, but it is super cute. So thank you, aunt and uncle. Um, but I'm actually not going to go through what's in here. Um, I'll do that in the makeup tutorial. You will have already either seen that or you're going to see it next week. So either way. Um, but basically I have my eyeshadow palettes and I'll go through uh, this in my makeup tutorial. Like I said, um, I have foundation, powdered foundation. Um, I have eyeshadow again. Um, I have mascara, which I need to pick up more of, even though I have two, I need to pick up more mascara. I need to get a new eyelash curler, but I have an eyelash curler in here. I need to get more of this too, it's called the Well Rested Powder, Powder by Bare Minerals. And um, I carry that with me. Red lipstick, black eyeliner, this is actually lip paint, I'm sorry that's not lipstick. This is lipstick. Um, blush concealer and oh I thought somebody came in here and uh, eyeshadow primer so yeah that's what's in my makeup bag really 
Um, I'm missing a few things, but that's because I have to go pick them up. Um, I need like a lip liner and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, okay. Then this is my makeup brush kit. Um, this is a combination of Real Techniques, ELF, and um, Bare Minerals brushes. Um, I have a good variety of all of those brushes, so I carry these with me. Um, cotton pads and Q-tips, very, very important to carry with you. All right, now we have hairspray. This is the Athena Firm and Flexible Hold Hairspray. I get this from a brand, from this online shop called Melaleuca, um, but you can get your regular standard hairspray. I'm just showing you what to bring. Honestly, I don't care what you use. Just get get hairspray. Bring hairspray. Bring makeup. That sort of thing. Um, this is rubber bands. Now I know this container says chocolate chai herbal red tea. That's not what's in here. Um, this is just what I carry my rubber bands in. Um, I carry like standard black rubber bands, like normal. And oops. And I also carry these little black elastic ones too, just in case you never know if your friends uh, might need them or if you might need them. I mean, you never know, your rubber band could break. That does happen a lot. Next, I have this Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. And it is a gel, it's really, really durable, but it's also really flexible, which I really love because, I mean, rehearsal times, we, like on nights of rehearsal, we will get home around like 11, 11.30, like if it's a really late night, 11.30. Um, so, I mean, I have no energy to take a shower after such a long day and you just want to go straight to sleep so you can brush it out and then in the morning you take a shower, wash it all out, and then put it back in. So, uh, deodorant. Now, if you are sharing costumes, even if you're not sharing costumes, wear deodorant, please, because some of you stink really bad. All of us stink really bad after we've been sweating for hours and we've been on stage and we smell, we just smell gross. So um, put deodorant on, um, especially if you're sharing a costume. Nobody wants to put on a costume that smells like B.O. It's gross. This is also, um, I also bring a body mist. This is the Rose and Apple Blossom Scented one from Bath and Body Works. This also is really handy. I spray this on my body and on my costume. You're probably not supposed to do that, but I definitely do because I don't want to smell like grossness. Hair stuff! Now I know this says um, like friendship bracelets, but this is just what I carry it in. Um, these are hair nets, and I need to put that on the list because I need new ones. Um, so hair nets are really important because they keep those baby hairs tucked away. Um, I also carry these big um, like hair pins. Um, my hair is really thick, so I need those a lot of the time. Um, and then these are just your little bobby pins. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what they look like. Just little tiny bobby pins. Um, I, I need to get more of these. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Good job, guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I will put all my social medias down in the description box along with all that other stuff that I told you guys I put down there. Um, yeah, so I hope this helped you guys uh, when it comes to what to pack for a performance and for you guys non-dancers that are watching, uh, thank you guys for just being interested in a part of our lives and my life and thank you for supporting me. Um, I'm super, super grateful for you guys and yeah. so. To all my friends and family watching, I love you all and I will see you guys next week for a new and exciting video.